Good morning guys on Frequented World. Just getting ready for another day of detecting. There's the nice scene out in the front yard. Oh, and a hummingbird to boot. Two hummingbirds. Alright guys, I'm learning with Stan that the destination is really part of the trip. So we've made a detour and he's showing me another really cool site. I'll show you guys. He's got an old campsite here that he's found stuff uh, 1920s. Um, but it's got a dump, a well, and then we're going to hit the site here where he's found some silvers. And uh, we've got the sniper here, so we'll see if he can dig something out. Check this out. The old rock cistern here. There's the uh, bucket full of bullet holes. And then up on the hill here where John's going is the old camp. So I've made it to the end of the wall. It's uh, maybe 75 yards long and it just ends right here with that big last stone. And I found a couple of modern nails right here and uh, like early 1900s. So I've made my way up the hill to where the boys are working. Uh, I think they've got a spoon and a couple early 1900s artifacts. So John's found the first uh, coin here. It's a penny but it's a good indicator of age and it is a George 1942 here's one that's not broken still got the cap on it again probably 1940s that one's nice and complete no cracks no nothing so bottle 9 made in the UK John found a little friend here. It's a little guy. Little baby. And the turtle whisperer. You should see the size of the snappers you, that you see here sometimes. No ticks. I'm going to help you out with your tick problem if you have any. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we are back at the 1873 boarding house. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a picture that we have of the original boarding house. Look at the trees and stuff behind me. You will not recognize this place from the picture. Um, where Stan is working up there, that's the foundation for the uh, house, um, the guy who started this area, the boarding house. And what I'm going to show you guys yesterday where we found all the coins, you're going to laugh, you'll see it in the picture. So the boarding house was there and right here in the picture, you'll see this is where we found all the coins yesterday was there's a clothesline blowing in the wind in this uh, photo. And uh, this was the woman who did all of the clothes for the boarding house, uh, 20 or 30 guys at a time. So right in here, I'm going to work all in here today because this is where the coins have got to be. Oh, look at this. What's he got? An old sign. Stan, what do you got? Oh, the Lions Club. And that's a nice one. You just clean that up. That is in fantastic shape. It'll clean up nice. Probably take her down to the creek right now. All right, my first artifact of the day, guys. An old uh, brooch of some kind with a uh, flower on it. Got to be late 1800s. <laughs> nice find. I'm going to start carrying a little pill bottle or something with me to put stuff like that brooch in because the tip on it's very fine and I don't want to break it. So I've been meaning to do it. I just haven't picked something up yet, but that's a good tip for any of the really old stuff, guys. Have a little separate container to put it in and it won't get broken. Best signal of the day so far. And it's under a log. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, modern. Well, there's uh, what appears to be a really old spoon. That's a really good one. Iron. Oh, John's got another one. Gonna have to change your nickname. Yeah. Holy crap, that's heavy. We don't want to have to lug a couple of those all day to work in the bush, eh? No. John's making me a coffee. 
There you go guys, 1970 Michigan Great Lakes State Trailer Plate. So we had some visitors from our friends in the U.S. Okay, so Stan has cleaned up the site here quite a bit. It's still really hard to see on the phone. But here is the boarding house wall. And then we come down here. Um, it's a little easier. You can see where it veers off. That's where I got the spoon and the uh, thimble. And then there's almost like there's another little square here, which may have been outhouse. And then this is all where we're down here working is all side yard. So this is where we're finding all the coins and stuff. You gotta put that under your macro, buddy. It looks, to me, okay, honestly, what I see is an eight-pointed star similar to the, uh, that old military button. I saw a star on there too, but I don't, is this a See, token or what is it? That, that's a, so you can count the points on the star. Yep. Is that can the we, best view? Yeah, there? that's a good view. Can I see the other side? It, it almost feels like lead filled with that uh, surface being applied. It's not a coin because there's a lip on this edge right here. Yeah, there, there's a crimp here at this one it's edge got too. A rim. And uh, the item, it's, it's got a serrated edge, and then on the back there's clasps. Almost like a lead fill or something in there maybe. So is it some kind of metal? It's definitely not a coin. It's old though. Okay, Johnny couldn't let it go. He says there's more to that, and so we scratched out a little bit, and he's right. He said he thought it was a clasp coin, and I... We think that's exactly what it is. The star is on the back. There's some kind of coin hidden under a 200 years of grime there. And this star, like Stan just said, is the back of this. Bezel. Yeah, so it's some kind of really old coin. He's going to try to clean it tonight, and if we can uh, get it any better, we'll show you in the next video. So Johnny's working on his victory dance here. Go ahead, buddy. I don't want to do victory <laughs> dance. <laughs> and he says he saw some assless chaps. Where were they? Valley Village. <laughs> we wanted a million views. There we go. <laughs> okay, so in this hole here, I got uh, three big chunks of coal, like the old, old style, and a big piece of pottery that I don't know the coating on that. I don't know what that is. It's pretty cool. Thick old piece, whatever it was. Okay, guys, some more old, real British china. And there is writing on the top of this, and it says N-E or H-E, and then C-O. So it's something company. And we don't know if this is a map, and there's a stamp in the middle of it. But uh, anyway, any of you guys that know China and stuff, there you go. That's the best we can find so far for identifying anyway. Okay, keep digging, Stan. We're getting a, we're starting to get a picture here. <laughs> He's got, we got three of them that fit together. Stone, something, and then company I think I got one. full points to stand here look at how nicely he's cleaned up the site for us to work so now we can get in here and swing okay so we've got a uh, little keyhole here guys it's a plated piece I just need to find the rest of this chest here and whatever goodies were inside it something in the wall John just found a real nice old bottle here. Not a mark on it. Full of moss. That's a keeper. Look at this coin, guys. I just found it under the sitting tree right here. I thought for sure I had old silver that was beat down to nothing. And look at that. Elizabeth II. And there is a date on here. Nineteen eighty six. Well, I'm hiding under the uh, big spruce again, guys. It is torrential downpour right now, so. Well, that's it. It just takes one torrential downpour to chase us off the site. We are done for the day.
Hey, we get home from a big day of uh, metal detecting. Watch these two little fawns here with the electric car. They might not even run. Tell me I don't live in the most amazing place in the world. You guys need to stop eating my flowers.